Uh, hi. Oh, God. So, um, I'll just do this again. Hello guys, and welcome to a Minecraft video. Yeah, it's, uh, been a while. About five, four months, five months, I believe. Yeah, sorry about me just killing a chicken. Yeah, so, uh, we're back in, uh, in the world of Minecraft. Woohoo! Oh. oh gosh. Holy shit. Yeah, um. Yeah, nothing's happened much. Um. Yeah. Nothing much. Actually, I'll just turn up my render this. If you're wondering what texture pack I'm using, I'm using John Smith's texture pack, which I'll uh, post a link in the in the uh, description if I remember to. Hopefully, I remember. But this is what I've been building so far. Yeah. It, oh gosh, that music's loud. Yeah, so this is what I've been making. It's, um, I've been trying to, um, take on the challenge of making a dwarven city. Uh, if I can. No. Why don't you work, bitch? Yeah. Yeah, so, uh, this is what I've been making. I'll just light it up because you can't see you people. Yeah. It's been quite a challenge actually so far, so I'm I'm just trying to get things moving and trying new things out. Hopefully, you can give me some ideas on what I should make and where I should make them. Sorry, I'm just putting torches up. Yeah, so, uh, this is what I've been doing for the past several months of weirdness. So, yeah. I do like this atmosphere, though. It's nice, gloomy atmosphere. And I like this design as well. I'm sorry if the video is a bit laggy, it's um, on Minecraft and the way it's recorded it's just a bit all over the place. And it's like, it's not synced properly if you take my drift, or get my drift or whatever. Yeah, um, today however we are, I think I'm going to see if I can do a tutorial on something. Oh, a medieval bridge. Yeah, medieval bridge. That's what I was thinking of. Where am I going to do it? Here. So what you what you're going to need are well the materials you're gonna need are oak wood 
Um, cobble. Um, hmm. Uh, wool, maybe? Or snow? I'll just, uh, uh, we'll just explore. No, we don't want any stone. Um, stone brick stairs. And I think that's it for now. Yeah, that's it. And let's get cracking. Okay, so what you're going to do is you are going to want to make... Well, we're making... Um, well, two towers connected by a bridge. So we want one, two, three. Uh, one, 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 two, three. Uh, one, 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 two, three. So I haven't planned this, but I've got a good idea of what I want in my head. Two, one, two, three, one, one. That's the basic shape we want for this for our circle. Um, and then we'd want a one, a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine block wide. Um, distant, uh, a nine block gap in between the two towers. So we've got one, two, three. Uh, this will make it easy for us to um, here. Um, can, well, we'd have two arc, like arcs coming from the middle and it'll just be a lot easier for us. We could have it as seven, but hmm. Nah, nah, keep it at nine. As I say, I'm really sorry if this video is laggy for you. Um, yeah. So, once we've done that, what we want to do is, on every other block, starting from these blocks on the towers we want to um, have um, poles going up I don't, I don't know how to explain it but you just need to bring these up like so um, we are going to uh, make branches out of these, but I'll uh, see you in a minute once I've done that. Okay, so we're back and I've just completed um, this tower. And basically, all you're wanting to do now is fill the rest of the gaps in with stone like so until you get to where the actual bridge is I'll show you how to do that in a minute but for now I'll see you in a minute when I, uh, when I get back from doing this hello everyone welcome back and um, as you can see we have got uh, the base of the tower um, now when we get to here it's going to be a little bit different because obviously you've got a four block gap and so it's going to be an, um, 
of our block walkway here. And so that's going to make a little bit of trouble. But it doesn't matter. And now, we want to do a little bit of a walkway. So we need, now I would think, oak stairs. Um, oak, wooden oak slabs. And that's it. So what you need to do is that. Uh, let's bring this up a bit. Uh, that. Actually, we'll do this out of stone. Um, cobblestone stairs. Stone stairs. Yeah. Uh, like that. Actually, we'll bring it down one. So we can have a raised middle. Uh, cobblestone slabs. There we go. Let's just do that. And there we go. We have our one of our bridges done. Well, the middle, the middle bit, and I like to make it thicker by doing a bit of this stuff, whatever you like to call it. Uh, yeah, just bringing it, just ex just extend it really, just. onto each side and yeah and so when you get to here you would have it like that one up you silly person and then it would just continue on like that like so uh, but first of all, we want to decorate this a bit, so we've got a bit more comfort. That's where I think either this would come in handy, or this. I think the wall. That's where this wall would come in then. And so it, it gives that bit of differentiation in, and texture in the build, I think. Yeah, so now we want to just build, um, build in one on these. So we want to go wood, wood, wood there, wood there. Wood there. No, that's wood there, wood there. Actually, no. And that's that's what it's gonna be like. I like that. And now, only one, I think we're going to have the wall. Um, for these corner bits. Um, well, just to give it, give it that bit of extra flair, I think. Yeah, and then we'll just build these up up to a height that we're happy with. So three, four. 
Yeah, about there. So, from this bit, from the floor up to um, this top layer, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then for the and then for this bit, it's just two less than that. It's just five. From that bottom layer to there, one, two, three, four, five. There we go. Five. And let's just continue. Now we want to bring the the wood up, but I want to change it about halfway through. Well, you can't get half to be like that. So it, it's got that bit of differentiation in it. It's got that extra extra bit of um, decoration to it, and it it's more appealing. to um to people's eyes I just finish this off I'm happy with that height yeah and I'll yeah actually I just leave it at that just leave it at that height, yeah. Now we want uh, another bit of decoration. We want we want fences, and so we we would like them on on the white on the wall on the white wall, just on there like that. Um, so two up. There we go. And now we would like to put the roof on, basically. That's what we're doing now. Um, the, I'm just going to give you a quick demonstration on how we would use a circle. So, if if we just do um, a small circle. Uh, Uh, just like this that's the circle now on that we are going to do what we do on this and so if you get your three actually I'll do this I'll do this in this in the stone so we've got our three but then if we do that, it creates, it creates a lot, three quarters of a slab and then a piece on top. That's what the stair would look like um, when it's, when you've got one uh, stairs facing towards you and then turn around, go on its side and then put a chair there that's what it looks like and then if we put a chair next a uh, stair next to it it it's, it just makes the pattern a lot neater and then if we go like this and put a stair there we have a nice neat uh, zigzag so there's no need to um, put your stone slabs there and anything for any more decoration because it, it practically does that for you now in the in the updates for uh, Minecraft 
Uh, yeah. And so if we just keep doing that, one, two, three. That's what it looks like. And basically, you're just replicating that. Um, so I'll show you how to actually do that. So we do a one, two, we do three blocks of stairs. And then we come onto one side, place a stair, go next to it, place a stair. And then come back to the same way you placed these uh, stairs. And then just place it on the side of that one and then it creates that nice cornered stair which which makes it a lot neater and so once you've done that you just place an, you come to this side place another stair there and then do the same thing like that and oh gosh that was a bit strange uh, yeah, I just had to go for a moment. That was just a bit of a whiz. Um, yeah, so what was I saying? Yeah, uh, this makes a neat zigzag effect. And then, basically, all you're doing when it comes to the three block, you're just doing that. And that's all we're doing. And that... Now, on these bits, just you're just doing the same, just uh, this that, one there, next to it, turn, uh, next to it, turn again, next to it, turn again, there we go. And it creates that zigzag effect, which is neat, and it's tidy. Now, what happens if... We had, we had it like that, but we didn't want to go in, we wanted to go out. Then just on any side, that. That's all you're doing. But I wouldn't recommend that. I'd recommend going in. And then you'd have to uh, go on the side of there like that so it's nice and sharp nice it is just a nice way to uh, do things like that it's a lot lighter and it's a lot cleaner and it appeals to your eyes a lot more rather than the old simple ones where you were like that and then you had to go like that and then that again and just like that because it it would just it would look good on one side but not so good on the other unless you did unless you would have done that um yeah you would have had to done you would have had to do um have done this but instead to join them up and make it a lot nicer and a lot neater you can just join them up. And so let's do that on here. Um, I'm going to use this board. Two, three. And then one there. One next to it. One on the side. One, one, two, three there oh god next to it on the side one two three You see me here modifying it because it's not right. You'd need to do this to get it right. And so it's 
like that. So it's nice, nice, nicer to your eye, and it's a lot, and it's a lot simpler. This is this is what happens when you go in one block. So you've got you've got your three block, then a one block, then your three blocks again. So let's show me how you do. Let's I'll show you how you do that. If you've got if you've got your three blocks, one, two, three. On the third one, you go you go on the side of the middle block next to it. Then on the side of that, and then you'd go on the side of that middle block again. Now on the side of the block you've just placed, I think that's right. No, it's not. No. You just place that block and you go on the side and place it next to it like that and then on the middle block of the three block that three block wide length do that and then it just makes a perfect zigzag that's all you're doing really so like that next to it on the side next to it oh, on the side one on the side next to it on the side oh, next to it then it creates that diamond effect so now what you want to do is, on this middle one, you want to go up, and then go behind it, and do that. Actually, no, go next to it, behind, and take that, that one out. So you've got that straight effect, straight line effect. And that's all you're doing, really. Just that. Actually, you don't. For now, just put them, just put them on like that. Because I'm just, I'm just trying to think um, on how I, how I do this. And I'll get back to you once I've figured it out. Okay, guys. So I've figured it out. Um, you see you've got a one black, one block gap with nothing in it, that's where a, um, a wooden slab would go, you see me here, like that, and that, that, it was supposed to go like that, up on a 90 degree angle, but you can't do that because it's a flat, it's really flat. Or you could, you could do that, and then it, it'll just sort of look too flat. So you'd want a bit, you want a bit of height on it, um, and so you just place it on the edge of the of each step of each of the top stairs, and then just place one in the middle. And that's how you do it. I think that's how I've always done it. But it creates that nice curvature that goes up and then flat and then up again. So it's like so you've got that that shape. It creates that that shape on it. 
that effect on it. It's quite nice to your eye. And so, yeah, that's the... Um, that's one of the towers done. And basically, you just replicate that onto the other tower, if you get what I mean. And so, what you'd want to do now is... You'd want to you'd want another uh, you'd want some wooden stairs on top of these stone stairs um, and then you'd just walk through you'd have a two you'd have your wooden door here or your door here and then your floor inside on there on that on that floor, that on that. Oh gosh, sorry, really sorry. My voice is a bit croaky lately. Don't know why. Just is. Uh, yeah. So you just do that. And so now, if you want to create that arch, arch, arched effect, that's what you do on the other side. Just place stairs. But we want that arched effect. So we want, so we actually do need these. And then down. And then up again. And you'd want on here you'd want to place a what a stone slab one of these stone slabs and to create that effect so you've got differentiation again So you've got that, a uh, stone slab, stone slab, and then you want, you, you've got that, and nobody really likes that. So we need to get a way around it, and we need to get rid of this as well, this in the middle. So what you'd want to do is... You'd want to put the stone there, stone there, stone there, and then just a line of stone slabs on top, and, and um, stone in the middle and then for that extra detail uh, stone stone brick slabs there so you want that detail so you've got that height go down and then you're all set for doing the second bit of the, of the tower of the of the bridge there. No, uh, no. There. There again. Oh, oh, gosh. And oh, why am I doing this at night? And then just stairs underneath get rid of those wooden stairs on top so you've got so you've got the bridge you've got that bridge and you've got that pole in the middle for extra detail you might want to add a couple of the couple of these wooden One things and then a bit more and 
Tá? Prostá. On these bits. I like, I like that. I like that a lot. I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep that. Nobody, nobody's gonna take that away from me now. Nobody's taking that away from me. Because I like that, I like that design. Nobody's taking it. Okay? If you take it, you've got me to answer, answer to. Okay? Alright? Yeah, uh, so, now we want... Now we'd want to cover the actual bridge, and so we're, we're just we're using that design. So two up, um, and then just wood, wood along the top. One, two, and then you want to go up one, and then on. Two, and then one up again. One, two, three. One down again. One, two, and then and then one down again. Two. So you've got that. So you've got that little bit like that and so in the middle you'd want your the wall your light grey wall maybe as I say I haven't really messed with this much yeah light grey wall just keep that in the middle Three, two, there we go, and just, and you, then you just do, uh, do this, uh, three along there. And so you'd, on here, you'd want to do these little side bits, well, to keep you in, really. And basically to sort that out, just a couple of uh, just a couple of decoration bits there, and then you just replicate uh, that on the other side. Now we want to protect you from the outside world, so you don't fall off. So put put some. a couple of these out oh yeah, so you don't fall off so you've got enough room for you to see out but you're not going to fall out either and that's what we want on this middle bit um, we're going to have that yeah, just keep it like that. Um, 
and then have this as uh, as wooden fencing and wooden fencing along there and along there so that's the tutorial for med for a medieval bridge and basically you just replicate what's ever on this side onto that side and there's your bridge let's walk across it to see if we can actually walk across it yep yep got enough room and we've got enough room for you to holy shit it's raining yeah so that's the uh, tutorial for you and I'll see you um, again for another tutorial so uh, see ya and bye bye